Hello friends, my name is Dr. Purudhavan and today in this video, I will tell you what kind of treatment should be taken by a polycystic kidney patient to treat the condition. So, as I told you earlier, polycystic kidney disease is a genetic disorder and there is two classification of it. One is autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease and another is autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease. In both disease, one thing is common that there is a formation of cyst over the kidney. Now, if the patient wants to control the damage of the kidney, wants to control the level of creatinine and urea, one has to work on these cysts because these cysts are causing pressure on the nephrons and as the pressure increases, there is changes in the structure of the nephron and the functionality of the nephron also deteriorates, resulting in high level of creatinine and urea. Now, if we go deeper into the cyst, what we see is that there is, these cysts are filled with the fluid. If somehow, we can drain this liquid out of the cyst, what will happen? The size of the cyst will go down and the pressure caused by these cysts to the nephrons also goes down, resulting in better functioning of the kidney. And as the function of the kidney improves, the level of creatinine and urea also goes down. Now the question arises, how we can do that? In a human body, we see a specific type of cell to cell movement of fluid food and excess waste material. This process is essential and if a patient can improve the rate of cell to cell movement of fluid and waste, mainly two improvement can be seen. Firstly, the fluid level in the cyst will reduce which will in turn decrease the pressure put by these cysts on the kidney. Secondly, the pressure on the nephron which is the working unit of the kidney will also decrease resulting in improvement in the kidney functioning as well as the reduced level of creatinine and urea in blood. Both of these waste materials are treated by the kidney and flushed out by the body at a regular interval. However, due to the decrease in the kidney functioning, the waste material levels rise, which can lead to multiple health issues. Therefore, by draining out the fluid, a patient will eliminate the leading cause of the pressure. As it is next to impossible to remove the cyst, from the kidney, the only option available to the patient is to carefully get the fluid out of the cyst, which is exactly what we do. At Shayas, we try to drain the fluid with the help of herbal medicines, so that the procedure remains harmless. Along with this, it is essential that all patients should keep a strict check on their diet, as keeping a healthy diet will definitely lead to the improved kidney functioning as well, as decreased level of the creatinine and urea. Let me give you a small example of this. In a polycystic kidney disease, if the consumption of the protein is high, creatinine level will increase automatically. As creatinine is a protein-based waste material produced by the muscle during muscle metabolism. So if a patient of kidney failure consumes large amount of protein, what will happen? The large amount of creatinine will be produced and it will be reflected in the report also. Similarly, urea is another waste material that is produced by our liver during food metabolism. So if a patient of kidney failure consumes large amount of hard to digest food items like oil, fat, protein, red meat, what will happen? the more urea will be produced in the body which eventually will be seen in the reports also. Therefore, it is my advice not to let yourself lose in terms of diet as well as taking other precautions in terms of health. Food items that are fried or high in protein content should be strictly avoided by the people suffering from polycystic kidney disease. Now, as we move towards in the end, I hope everyone watching this video was able to understand each and everything I said. It would be really beneficial for all PKD patients if they just follow whatever I say in the video, as all the methods are completely natural and easy to adopt. Still, as I always say, that if you have any further doubt, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. See you in the next time. Thank you for watching this video.